Hello and welcome to the screencast on branching structures in MATLAB, the if-else construction. In this screencast, we're going to discuss conditional statements and branching in programs in general, look at the if-else construction in MATLAB and its relative the if-else-if construction. So many times in life we're given information and we have to make a decision based on that information. For example, when I get my kids ready for school in the morning, I need to know how to dress them. And inside my brain there's a little algorithm that might say, if the temperature outside is less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, then the kids need to wear coats. Now this is a conditional statement, an if-then statement, where we input some information, namely the temperature outside, and then we produce output based on a condition set for that information. If it's below 50, then they need to wear a coat, and I have to tell them so. Otherwise, if it's uh, 50 or above, they can wear a coat if they want to, but it's not necessary. And so the output could go two different ways depending on what the input is. Now, if I were programming a computer to make this decision for me, the algorithm might go something like this. First of all, the known quantity here is the outside temperature. The unknown is whether or not we should wear a coat, and the assumption here is that we're going to enter in units in degrees Fahrenheit. So the algorithm would flow like this. First of all, I would input the outside temperature to my program, and then I would have to make a decision. Is the temperature less than 50? If so, then I would display put a coat on to the screen. If not, I would display you don't need to wear a coat to the screen, and then I would simply end the process. Now that's a well-constructed written algorithm since the scope is well-defined. All the steps are written sequentially, and the one question that has to be answered here is clearly a yes-no question. Now as a flowchart, this is what it would look like. Notice that when we have to evaluate the temperature there on the diamond, there's a fork in the flow chart. That's why we sometimes call the evaluation of conditional statements a branching process. Having to evaluate an if-then statement splits the flow of the process into two streams, one for a yes answer and one for a no answer, and the output depends on the answer to my question. Now let's go to MATLAB and see how branching is implemented in a MATLAB program. So let's build an M file to make the coat, no coat decision for us. Following my graphical algorithm, I first need to ask the user for the temperature, and I'm going to say temp equals, and use the input command to solicit input, and just ask the user, please enter the outside temperature. I might remind the user to enter that in degrees Fahrenheit. Close the string and close that, put a semicolon. And that implements the first little box in my flowchart, but now I have to do something with the value of temperature that's been entered. Now in plain English, I would say something like, if temp is less than 50, display put on a coat. Otherwise, display you don't need to wear a coat. And that's pretty much how we're going to do it in MATLAB, except in MATLAB, this is how it looks. We would type, if temp less than 50, hit enter, and notice it indents for you. Uh, display, I'm going to use f print, f print f, uh, put on a coat with a new line at the end. Close that. And then that's the first condition. The second condition is the otherwise. Otherwise I would display you don't need to wear a coat. Now I'm going to back indent out to this level and type else. Else, hit enter again to notice it indents for you again. F print F. You don't need uh, two apostrophes there. You don't need to wear a coat and in the line and the string, and that's that. And then I need to tell MATLAB to end the process, which I'm going to do with the statement end. So let's take a look at this code, and we'll expand this out so we can see everything. First of all, the uh, line three here asks the user to input the outside temperature, and it stores it in the variable temp. But then this block here is where the decision gets made. The if line sets up the first condition. If the temperature is less than 50, if temp less than 50, in other words, is true as a Boolean statement, uh, then MATLAB will kick down to that command right below it in line 6 and print out, put on a coat to the screen. If temp less than 50 is not true, in other words, otherwise, uh, it will kick down to the else line here in line 7 and execute the command that's just after it, namely that f printf, you don't need to wear a coat, and then it ends the process. Now let's save this file to, uh, let's just call it coat.m, and run the, run the program and look over here in the command uh, window and see what happens. So I enter in the outside temperature, and let's say it's 66 degrees outside, and it will display you don't need to wear a coat. If I run it again and enter in something less than 55, uh, it will say put on a coat. And if I run it again and give it a temperature of exactly uh, 50, I think I said 55, I meant 50, if it's exactly 50, um, 
technically speaking, I should not have to wear a coat because uh, I said less than 50, and in fact, that's what the program does for me. So back over to the M file, let's make a few notes here. The block following the if and the else statements here can contain an entire string of commands. It doesn't have to be a single line. And note that since there are only two options for temp here, it's either less than 50 or it isn't, I don't need to set up another condition here to say something like temp greater than or equal to 50 because there's only two options. If temp is less than 50, do one thing, otherwise do the other thing. Thirdly, note the indentation in this if-else statement. Uh, the indentation is not strictly necessary like it is in some uh, programming languages, but it does help readability quite a bit. I can just look at the indentation and see which commands go with if or else. So that's the if-else construction used for making simple, single yes-no decisions in MATLAB. We set up the condition with if, give it the commands to execute if that statement is true, and then else, and then set up the, the layers of commands to execute if that's not true, and then tell it to end. Now let's suppose the decision-making process is a little more complicated, and instead for dressing my kids, I use the criteria if the temperature outside is below 50 degrees or it's raining, then the kids need to wear coats. This time there's multiple criteria to think about, and here's what a graphical algorithm for this situation could look like. It's got some of the same elements as before, but now I have two conditions to monitor, namely the temperature and the precipitation. If the temperature is below 50 degrees, then I know what to do, but otherwise I have to check the raining status and make a decision based on that input. So we have a chain of if-then contingencies. Let's see how this is managed in MATLAB. So let's go back to my coat.m file, and I've added one line here in line 4 that basically solicits the user's input as to whether it's raining or not. Since I only want the user to say yes or no, I'm going to pass a graphical menu to the user using the menu command, and they're going to click yes, in which case the value of raining will be set equal to 1, or click no, in which case raining will be set equal to 2. So now let's go down here and look at the if-else structure and see what we might want to change. The if statement here in line 7 and 8 are fine as it is. Uh, if temperature is less than 50, then I do want it to tell me to put on a coat. But now for the else, I'm going to have to change a few things because I'm going to implement another if-then statement. Now in MATLAB, we implement this using the structure called else if. So if temp is less than 50, then it knows what to do. Else if raining equals 1, that is if the user said that it's raining outside, I also want it to tell me to put on a coat. I'll just copy and paste this line, like so. Now, if raining is not equal to 1, then I want to do yet one more thing. So I'm going to have else to catch all the remaining contingencies. And this would be a situation where I want it to tell me not to put on a coat. So let's walk through this logically one more time and see what happens. It inputs, or the user inputs temperature as a number and raining as a value of either 1 or 2 for yes or no. If the temp is less than 50, then it prints out put on a coat and the process ends. Else, if raining is equal to 1, that is, it's raining outside, it says to put on a coat. Else, you don't need to wear a coat. That's the only option left over. And the process ends after each of these uh, little blocks, if, else, if, or else. And let's just see if this really works. When I run the program here, if I enter in a value of 44 for the temperature, and there's the menu that pops up, and I tell it that it's not raining outside, it should tell me to put on a coat. Although it's not raining, it's cold enough I need a coat. If I click it, run it again, and give it a uh, sort of a warm temperature, like 66, and answer yes for raining, it'll tell me to put on a coat. If I give it a warm temperature and tell it that it's not raining, it'll say that I don't need to wear a coat. So everything seems to be working properly. So this if, else, if, else, and construction can be used to create a chain of yes-no decisions that if we've covered all the bases of our decisions and not left any options out, it'll always connect the input to the right output. However, you might notice we can do this in a little bit more efficient way. Uh, for example, if I just go up here and type in the exact statement that I said before, if the temperature is less than 50 and use a logical operator or raining equals 1, then put on a coat. I don't need the else if. I can just use else. So this is a shorter way to implement the same process in code. And this just goes to show you that there's more than one way to do anything in MATLAB or in any programming environment. So although you can use if, else if, else, and kinds of constructions to make complicated chains of reasoning, you often don't have to.